Hey guys, this is Sam from The Grid Games, back for round three of this Born of the Gods Theros track. We would love to play first here. And this is the key. Uh, three removal spells. I mean, we really do need to thread at some point, but we have both of our colors, and three removal spells we can cast, so I have no issue with making this keep. And so we're just going to start off with the Swamp here. We have to start Swamp Swamp for Farika's Cure. It's also decent for Asphyxiate. And Read the Bones is exactly what we wanted there. Another blue deck. And the Unknown Shores. Alright, so... Ooh, here I think we actually cast a Siren. Because if we get in with this, he's going to start discarding, which is good. And he couldn't have Nullify here. Yeah, so... That was a very fine play. Blue or white? Alright, so we may be of the heroic variety. Could it be that true drop 1-1? One, one? Okay, spirit guide. Also fine. Um, I actually think we're going to want to Farika's cure that. But that, yeah, I think we're going to do that on his turn. Uh, we're going to let him waste a trick if he wants, because... I feel like this matchup's going to be relatively interactive um, with our bigger things blocking the smaller things, and so the way he's going to be able to push through damage is with his tricks, and so if he wants to waste a trick to get through Farika's Cure, that's totally fine, or we can just get him here. Also sounds good. So we get rid of Glimpse and Favorite Hoplite, two very good guards to get rid of. Um, because he's tapped out, I definitely think we can just attack before reading. I don't think that's an issue at all. Sip and Servant. We definitely want both of those on top. And his turn. Alright, a flyer here. We do not mind putting those three counters on. I think we're trying to asphyxiate and then play Servant here. Um, and he's going to have to discard the Siren. So he discards an Oni Speaker and reveals a Plains. Yep, so... Asphyxiate. And draw. This has been very good for us so far. I mean, I haven't played with the card yet, although I heard, like, tremendous things about it. I mean, it's a Blood Toll Harpy. Um, it doesn't have the come in, everyone lose one's ability, but, I mean, this ability is so much better. I mean, already, we've made him discard two things from his hand. It's going to be... So I actually don't think we kill it here. Hmm. Yeah, I think now that we drew Nyxborn Triton, we just bestow. Keeping like fake Boon of Erebos up. And then And then he has to have a three damage combat trick. Which like yeah, okay. So we just concedes there. Just fine. I mean, we're just going to keep getting more cards out of his hand. Alright, so some kind of white-blue heroic deck. We definitely want the Gainsay in this situation. I don't know how aggressive he is, but he seemed relatively aggressive. Uh, sea Lock Monster shines in this matchup. We may be able to Nyx a Nyxborn Eidolon. See what it is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that may be good. Disciple's probably good to get cards out of his hand. Although it may be too slow. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just get rid of Nyxborn Eidolon and see where that takes us. We definitely want all the removal and the finishers. So I have no issue with that. Alright. Well, I'll see you guys for game two. Hey guys, so another pretty solid keep here on the draw. We have Freakus Cure, which is very good against his aggressive deck. And Servant, also very good. So, really bad here would be like a turn one favorite hoplite. Um, because that means he could possibly bestow it turn two and get it out of Farika's cure range. 
Um, although snare caster, we do not have any issues with. So once again, we're going to play Swamp and wait till his turn, as we would much rather him waste a trick using the freak, like on the Freakus Cure. Um, we may actually, we also probably don't mind taking two here, so we may actually wait till the end of his turn to make sure there's no like wing steed riders or things that we would much rather get off the board. All right, so so can't block. Yeah, so because he could possibly suit that up, we definitely want to get rid of that. Um, and then I want to play Servant here because it blocks a Snare Caster, and we have so much card advantage and uh, big threats and kill spells. Like, we have everything we need to win the game in our hand right now. So, all right, that's fine. We'll take two, and then we're just going to slam an Emissary next turn. So this matchup is my get like my guess is this matchup is fairly good for us, cause he has to you know he has to do a lot of things to beat us that he doesn't want to do like give us life and not be able to bestow big things. So all right, that's fine. I'm definitely okay with him snare casting to get in two there. They're not the biggest deal in the world. Alright, that's a Lash. Um, yeah, my guess is we just wait to Lash here. I guess we may have just missed an attack, but... Feels as though it's fine. Especially if we can two for one him here with a trick. Nope. Alright, so... Just Lash one of his guys. If he has something that pumps them, he probably needs to use them right now. And Sea Lock Monster. All right. So now we definitely need to find that six land, and so we're gonna go. We're gonna read them bones. It's perfect. That gives us the six land and something to play this turn. So that's it's right where we want to be. All right. So another land, um, we're just going to attack with Erebos' Emissary here and see what happens. I don't think we need to two for one his Snare Caster here. Actually, maybe we do, just to put a little more pressure on him. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, he'll he'll draw, he'll draw get to scry and draw out of it, but it's still a two for one of sorts. And he's still going to take two, go to twelve. Have to put up with two creatures next turn, and then we're gonna drop Sea Lock Monster. So instead of just progressing the board, preventing him from continuously drawing all those extra cards, like we don't want to give him a way to draw out of this situation. Like we have a lot of pressure on right now, we want to keep the pressure on. It's probably the thing to do. We will put the counters on. We do not care. Now we really, really, really do not care. Um, once again, keeping a boon up and attacking. So he's either going to have to block this turn or next turn. My guess is he's getting in there, playing another creature to block. And then going to three from the phalanx. Is my guess here. Sea gods. Alright. Well. If we draw a lash. So if he doesn't block, he's just dead. Although, he knows we have it. So he just has to block here. And then play a f return phalanx, lash his guy, 
and now he has to play. Now, because he knows he has the emissary, he has to play two blockers. Yep. All right. So there's our nice little 3 0. That one felt good. Haven't had one of those in a while. Um, and yes, yeah, so that was it. We had a pretty nice deck. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share, all those things. Um, if you liked what you saw, we will, I will have a bunch of these. Um, I'm going to be putting up cube videos weekly for a little while. I think I have uh, two or three more left to, to put up for you guys, even though cube has stopped. I'm going to keep drafting. I'm going to keep playing sealed. Can, I'm going to start playing constructed soon to get ready for... Um, to get ready for a few larger events so if there's any deck you guys want to see or if anyone here who's watching uh is also plays on moto and wants to test with me that would also be awesome so anything like that please leave it down below um any comments questions concerns like share favorite subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys again soon